Well, finally, we've arrived at the what I call the Catholic Super Bowl. Uh, every prayer, every Mass of the year uh, has its heart set on what we're about to celebrate this coming weekend. And I'm always reminded, you know, as I put myself in the sandals, so to speak, of the Apostles um, on Holy Thursday, on Good Friday, on Holy Saturday, and on Easter Sunday, I'm always reminded how um, incredulous they remained. I mean, for weeks now, Jesus has told them exactly what's going to happen. He told them, we're going to Jerusalem, they're going to arrest me, and they're going to kill me. And all the way right up to the moment where Jesus is arrested, the apostles are firmly opposed, saying, no, Lord, we would never let that happen to you. And then, of course, Jesus is arrested and uh, taken away to the temple for trial before the high priest. And and um, all of a sudden, his apostles realize that their lives are at stake and they abandon him. And so uh, remember that um, some level of uh, astonishment, some level of doubt, some level of ignorance Uh, is with us throughout our lives. And that is an invitation from God to recognize that, Lord, there is still a part of me that is still waiting to surrender, that not only did you surrender, not only were you arrested, not only were you put to death, but that you tell us that we will um, experience the same thing, that we will experience your death uh, through the grace of our baptisms, that we will uh, endure the grace of slowly releasing uh, everything and allowing our hearts to become empty, but for the sole purpose uh, of receiving the greater good that God has in store uh, through your resurrection and through the new life that it promises. So bearing all of these things in mind and as we enter into the greatest of all celebrations of the church, remember that God is who he says he is, You are who he says you are and live the life that he made you to live.